A Los Angeles nun jailed for stealing more than $800,000 to fund a gambling habit has admitted I have sinned. Sister Mary Margaret Krupa, 80, who took a vow of poverty, begged a judge to show her mercy and spare her prison, saying, I have sinned, I've broken the law and I have no excuses. She called her crimes a violation of my vows, my commandments, the law and, above all, the sacred trust that so many had placed in me. Credit cards and gambling debts. Krupa admitted embezzling about $835,000 pounds) in donations, tuition and fee money between 2008 and 2018. Advertisement. As head teacher at St. James Catholic School, which she ran for 28 years, she controlled accounts at a credit union, including a savings account for the school and one established to pay the living expenses of the nuns employed by the school, prosecutors said. The money she stole was used to pay off credit card charges and large gambling expenses incurred at casinos, the U.S. Attorney's Office said. Trips to Vegas the nun took frequent gambling trips to Las Vegas and holidays to Lake Tahoe and other locations in Southern California, according to Poonam Kumar, the assistant U.S. attorney. Krupa took fellow nuns on some of those trips and spent thousands of the primary school's money. Mr. Kumar said that jealousy played a part, calling the episode really an abuse of position of trust. When first confronted, Mr. Kumar said, the nun claimed she did it in part because she believes priests get paid better than nuns. Nowhere to go and unemployable. Asking for the nun to be spared from prison, her lawyer Mark Byrne told the court she has been kept under severe restrictions at a convent by the nuns in her order. She doesn't have anywhere to go, he said. She's 80. She doesn't have any money. She's obviously not employable. Krupa, he said, quoting an expert, was addicted to gambling, adding that it is not an excuse for what she did, merely an explanation. U.S. District Court Judge Otis Wright acknowledged his own anguish in deciding a punishment to fit the crime, saying I haven't slept well in God knows how long as he rejected prosecutors' call for a two-year sentence. He said he could not bring himself to judge Krupa solely on the worst thing that she's done in her life, the LA Times said. The judge settled on a prison sentence of one year and a day and also ordered Krupa to pay back the money she had stolen from the school.